I'm Anne Hansen. I manage the Bridges to Learning Partnership. It's a partnership between Unison, the Trade Union, the WEA, which is the Workers' Educational Association, and the Open University. The partnership's unique because it delivers learning in the workplace from the bottom up, all sorts of learning from basic English and maths, for whom the education system has failed, right through to first steps of higher education and beyond. I was attracted to be a ULO to help people and support them. In my past, I was an MBQ assessor and this gave us good stead to become a ULO. I think it's a passion to see people achieve and to go on and progress, not only in their own work roles, but also in their social lives. My role as a union learner rep on a day-to-day -day basis could involve me just meeting with staff, sharing information on learning opportunities, and I like to see myself as a person that builds confidence with others with regards to learning and development. Make people realise the potential, in a sense, to what they can achieve and what learning is out there and what's available to them. I didn't really go to be a union learning rep. I kind of fell into it, actually, because I seen a presentation by Anne Hansen. It just seemed like a very interesting role to be involved in, a very rewarding role. I first got involved when I needed help from Unison and somebody mentioned at that meeting about the role of a union learning rep. What made me think that might be a good role for me was because I was already involved in learning as I was working with a community women's group and I was organising and coordinating a lot of learning supporting women. I've started off as a Unison rep at representing people in the workplace and then I went on to become the branch education coordinator and became involved in the ULR role. I think it's a nice part of being a union rep because you do the nice things, you're encouraging people to learn and better themselves and increase their knowledge and skills. In doing that you're also increasing the knowledge and skills of the workplace, of the employer as well usual day I would come into the Unison office, I share my time between here and learning and development, contacting learners, organising events, things like functional skills, supporting learners, meeting up with learners to give them encouragement and support. Being involved with the Trust Healthcare Academy is a vital part of my role now. That could be from delivering theory to newly appointed healthcare assistants to the Trust or actually supporting them through practical activities, giving them the knowledge, confidence and ability to conduct their role when they get out there on the wards and departments. Well, I've been working here for about 11 years and we've really found it quite difficult to engage with certain groups of staff. Perhaps they've got some anxieties, some barriers, and the introduction of the Union Learning Rep, particularly Hazel, has helped her work enormously. She's been really good in sort of breaking down those barriers. I really concentrated on how to reach learners. There was a lot of issues. A lot of people had come from schools where their skills weren't put to best use. There was a lot of people being bullied at school at that time. Also people who had family commitments, didn't have the ability to keep up with their schoolwork. And these were the hard to reach learners were really concentrated on. Sometimes it can be a challenge on this particular site because it's, it's a big site. There are lots of little satellite areas trying to get people to come out of their little areas into the main hospital to attend lectures or conferences, that can be difficult. That's probably one of the biggest challenges really is that sometimes the people are reluctant. The biggest challenge was going to persuade my managers about the importance of learning and supporting staff to engage in learning. The main challenge is getting people motivated and getting them involved. Some people are a little bit apathetic about learning and sometimes haven't got the confidence to take on something that you know they haven't maybe done for a long time. So it's my role to try to encourage them and give them that support and motivation. In terms of the issues that we've experienced with English and Maths, people I think have an anxiety and perhaps over the years they've had some coping strategies and in terms of our delivery with the MVQ 
A part of that induction is a mandatory and initial assessment of maths and English, and that has brought up a few issues. At the moment we are using City and Girls content for our maths and English courses, but WU has also developed Maths for Healthcare course, which will be piloted soon again at the Newcastle Hospital. Part of my role as a union learner rep within the organisation is organising and facilitating maths and English qualifications. Currently we work with the WEA to deliver that within the organisation or staff. That course is a 15 week course, it runs once a week for three hours a week and the result at the end of that course staff will achieve maths and English qualifications. The Bridges project has been a huge advantage to Unison and a huge advantage to the employer as well because it's put learning at the heart of what we do and many of our members have benefited personally with being able to access training and the reciprocal arrangement was the council doesn't have to pay for the training but it gives release costs so it's been an absolute win-win for the authority and for the union as well. We are working with Sunderland College and we've got a 10-week maths programme followed by a 10-week English programme. It's actually held in the Unison offices. Some staff groups feel anxious about coming into the learning and development department because it's held over at the Unison office so I think people feel more comfortable. The achievement rate at the Newcastle Hospital on both maths and English courses is quite high and it's amazing to see healthcare assistants, admin colleagues, colleagues from porting department to move on into different job roles as well and do higher education courses after achieving level one or level two qualifications in maths and English. Well, we did have one learner who, through a disability, had never learned to read and write. Took the very brave decision to come along to the maths and the English, and she has managed to pass all her English exams. When I rang her up to tell her that she had passed, she couldn't believe it. So much so that I had to ring the tutor again to get absolute confirmation that she had passed. She was absolutely delighted. It was at Christmas time I was going around with the results and they're grabbing a hold of you and jumping you up and down because they're so excited. It's a marvellous Christmas present. Every learner that I speak to has been a success. I don't pinpoint anybody individually because I think whether they've taken a very short course or a very hard and complicated one, they're still learning and it's sometimes the stepping stone to doing further things. Employers have actually worked with WA through this project to live with the courses which are outside Bridges for Learning. So actually they've developed another part of partnership with some workplaces which is not part of Bridges for Learning, but also they use WA as a provider because of excellent quality teaching. One of the great ways in which the partnership is working together is through the Open University's funding of lunch and learn sessions in the workplace. The Open University resources its associate lecturers, experts in the field of healthcare, to go into workplaces and deliver short, snappy training sessions on topical issues again in healthcare. The lunch and learn sessions that I've done today have been absolutely fabulous. I've really enjoyed facilitating them. I feel that we've reached a wide range of staff. We've had very mixed attendances from different diverse occupations. The participation levels have been excellent and it's really the enthusiasm of the attendees that I've really enjoyed. When I first heard about Lunch and Learn sessions, I thought it was a brilliant idea. The short two hour sessions were something that I thought all staff would be really interested in. When the Open University approached us, we hoped that we would be able to run one session in each of the six workplaces where we've got Union Learning Rep Project workers. In the end, we ran 35, and the numbers that attended were just incredible. The topics have been defined by ULRs going out there and actually asking people what would be useful. It's actually been driven by people's needs. We've done mental health awareness, autism, spectrum, dyslexia awareness. We've got two courses running next month, which is diabetes and nutrition and dealing with grief and supporting others. I believe Bridges to Learning is the vehicle to get people where they need to be. It gives them the confidence to gain qualifications and the confidence to progress in their careers. And it's very much about workplace learning, getting people involved who are in the workplace and training and education and giving them the ability to move on. Lunch and lunch sessions have brought a new dimension 
onto the learning that we provide and being able to work very closely with the Open University and have their tutor bring their, their skills, their knowledge and experience to our staff, that really has been very good. Since becoming a union learning rep, I've become a lot more confident in talking to people. I'm very good on a one-to-one -one basis, but I tend to be shyer with a group. That has actually improved quite a bit. I'm currently doing the PETALS course, which is the Preparing to Teach course. So hopefully at the end of that, I'll be able to take some informal workshops myself. I do, of course, I enjoy it. I enjoy the learning bit for myself. I enjoy encouraging people to learn as well. It's just a nice thing to help people to improve their lives. There are so many reasons why I'm a Union Learning Rep. I've learned a lot. I've developed a lot through the learning. Seeing learners transform, develop their confidence, and progress to other forms of learning. I thrive as they thrive. I develop as they develop because it's all about working together.